St. Pat's were at home to Drogheda on Friday night. The Louth men have been in good form of late, whilst Pat's needed a win, having gone down away to Derry last time. Eamon Donoghue reports. Off the back of their worst run of form this season, St. Pat's needed to make a strong statement about their remaining title ambitions, and it took less than three minutes to make an impression. Derek Doyle taking his European goal-scoring heroics to the league. Having been unbeaten in their previous three, Drogheda had reason to feel they could take something from this, but after that start, they were rattled and were lucky not to concede a second a minute later, Stephen Trimble alert to deny Danny North. Denny Corcoran is United's top scorer this season with four, and can be a handful for anyone. It certainly caused Brian Shorthall problems. As the Saints survived, Corcoran is a former St. Pat's player, though he never made a breakthrough to the first team. That was not the start of a Drogheda revival. Pats continue to dominate, Anto Murphy not far away. Further chance for Pats to double their lead before the break. The usually dangerous combination of Bradley and Macmillan from set pieces not successful on this occasion. But St Pats got the second their efforts merited five minutes after the restart. Bradley's cross and Daryl Cavanagh's seventh of the season, a first in the league since his goal of the month strike against Drogheda in their previous meeting in June. No let up from the home side, fresher than in recent weeks since their elimination from Europe. Kavanagh close before Derek Doyle and Dave Mulcahy kept it alive. Danny North perhaps could have done better with the finish. Any hopes of a comeback were dashed in the 64th minute. North led the break away from Mulcahy's pass. Dave Rogers tackling leading to a penalty and a second yellow card. Rogers was sent off on his last appearance in the League of Ireland against St Pat's. That for Dundalk in 2009. Mick Cook was unhappy with the award, but Rogers might just have gotten his studs on the ball. Up stepped North, and though Trimble was initially successful, North reacted for his 12th of the season. Trimble unlucky, though it's been an impressive breakthrough season for him. Indeed, he showed his worth moments later to deny Kavanagh. Staying big and good reactions to thrust out a right hand to save. But he was helpless to prevent Pat's fourth. Anto Murphy steaming in at the back post to see their biggest win of the season and grab Pat's 11th against United in their three league meetings this season. David McMillan scored a goal of the month contender in Pat's previous home game against UCD. Darryl Kavanagh looked to equal that, but was denied by the crossbar. The result means him Pat's keep in touch at the top. Draw had a still 13 points from bottom with nine games left. I think it's no coincidence that it's the first week we've been able to get a proper week's training in. You know, we've been up at, held up at European games. We haven't been able to really prepare probably the way we like. This week we had a clear run, and I think we saw that we looked a little bit fresher. Certainly looked a little bit hungrier, sharper, and uh, I think the week's preparation stood us in good stead for tonight. We started very, very poorly. Uh, I felt the players gave Pat probably too much respect. Uh, we've had a couple of bad results against them already this season, and probably didn't go on a goal down early. Uh, the confidence seemed, just seemed to drain from the lads. And that's what really shocked me after the last few weeks where we were so good.